What are you what are you telling your agents right now that that are struggling to get that what is the thing to go for? Obviously we know it's uh, to you know put the work in and talk to people, but what tactics are you seeing that you really see as work in the last six, eight months? Yeah, no, great question. And uh, I will say, I think getting to six figures in your market is a little easier than my market. <laughs> what is your average sale price? Uh, it's like three fifty to four hundred. You know. You know, when I first started, I used to sell three fifty homes. So it's so funny when agents now are like, "Oh, the commission check." I'm like, my first commission check was two thousand dollars. Like, yeah. I sold a four hundred thousand dollar house. It was eight thousand dollars. I had to give fifty percent to my broker after yeah. I paid for that. I made two grand. Like, yeah. it's insane. I know, but I was thinking about that because I I saw you were like, oh, we'll talk about how to get to six figures, and I'm just like, well, out there it's like freaking three houses or some shit, you know. I was still probably in six hundred, you know. But it, it is funny when I talk to people like in Orange County, LA, and they're like, yeah, I did ten deals this year. How much you sell? Twenty million. I'm like, I know. Uh, I, know. I wish I could do ten deals for twenty million dollars. Yeah. Like, but you don't I even know. understand. It's such a different. I think that's what's hard about real estate. It's like ten deals. Is the same amount of work in your market or a two million dollar market? You right. know, there's no, there's no difference. So, what are you seeing right now that like you're giving your newer agents that have joined the team? Because you said you have twenty agents. Like, what tasks are you doing that kind of like get the momentum started? I think that's the hardest part is when you don't get that momentum started and most people quit before it can get going. Yeah, um, great question. I think you know, as much as a lot of us like to pretend it's it's maybe different for everybody. I think everybody has their special talents and things that they excel at. But at the end of the day, you know, what we're telling our agents is like, look, you have to, you have to obviously build your network. Okay. Like if you're not building your network, it's just, you're never going to get to where you want to go. And so in order to do that, you got to stay top of mind and you got to get out there and, and get nose to nose, toes to toes with people. And so some of the tactics that, that are working well with us is, you know, obviously just like you're, you're doing right with this is content creation is so important and not being that secret agent. And I think anyone that has done any sort of research into what works in real estate, you're probably going to hear, you know, stay top of mind, do content creation. But um, the way that we go about it is in my opinion, more of a, a easier organic way than maybe coming up with like the best, viral video that you could possibly think of and put all that pressure um, onto you. So for me, I try to simplify it with my agents. I'm like, look, you need to be posting at least three days a week, probably five. Um, and we need to be hitting the three key factors, which in my opinion is, you know, Adam, I'm sure you've heard this before. Why does someone choose an agent? They're going to choose you because they know you like you and trust you. Right. And that that's what I'm saying. Like when my dad back in the eighties, that hasn't changed. It's like we, we choose people because we know, like, and trust them. So when we're appealing to people on social media, how do we build that? Right. And for them to know you and like you, like that can pretty much come from just like posting things about your family or your interests or whatever, just like being a cool person. Right. But to trust you, you can't just rely on like, you know, I don't know, pointing to things in a TikTok yeah. dance. And so yeah. like, you just you yeah. know, you can't do that. So you have to show, education and you also really have to show social proof which is i think the biggest one and so for my newer team members it's like look you may not have a lot of business right away that's okay but our team does and your brokerage does and so you need to be constantly at least weekly probably more than that sharing success stories sharing wins sharing sales anything that shows people watching you like oh well, Adam just got in the industry, but I mean, gosh, I feel like he sold like five houses already. And it's like, well, if you look back at Adam's posts, he actually didn't say he sold any of those. He just said, congratulations to so-and-so on the accepted offer for their home, which was a sale that I put together, let's say. Mm -hmm. And so it's like some people I think make the mistake of like, they're just going to start putting content out there, but they're not hitting some of those necessary boxes and the big one people keep missing is social proof so that's one we really focus on with our agents um an, another thing would be i mean honestly go and do open houses get in front of people like we got to yeah. get out there you know you got to get out there How, like if you adam if we, we've done this uh activity with our team a few times we all sat in a room and i said it's kind of morbid but i said if you had to get a deal accepted today or you died 
by the end of the day, what are we doing? And I was like, just start throwing ideas out there. I'm like, honestly, what are you doing? And like one that always comes up is an open house, right? Because it's like, you could do an open, someone could walk in, they want to buy it. It could happen. There's not many activities in real estate where it's like, if you want instant money that you could go and do, there's only a, hand, a handful. And open houses is one of those. And I think now with the NAR settlement and all the stuff where there may be some buyers approaching listing agents or going to open houses without a buyer contract, like our open houses have been very busy over the past few weeks in a market that right now it feels slow, but the opens have been busy. So it's like, look, just get out there, go do open houses, go talk to people. And while you're there, make some social media content and make some phone calls.